During the reinvent, AWS has announced Amazon SageMaker HyperPod. Amazon SageMaker HyperPod is a brand new service which is focused on solving one problem which many of the medium or big enterprises are facing at the moment. Many organizations want to train their own large language model using GPU-based and Trainium-based instances at low cost. However, the volume of data, size of the models, and time required for training LLMs have exponentially increased the complexity of training a model. If you want to train a model on AWS SageMaker, it's really pain in the back. If you minus the hyperpod, Customers often need to split their LLM training across potentially hundreds or thousands of GPUs. They then run trillions of data computations on in parallel for weeks or even months at a time, which is time consuming and requires specialized machine learning expertise. The number of accelerators and training time increases substantially compared to training task specific models, so the likelihood of rare small error, errors like a single accelerator failure compounds. That is where Amazon SageMaker HyperPod helps or at least promises to help. SageMaker HyperPod removes the undifferentiated heavy lifting involved in building and optimizing machine learning infrastructure for training large language models. SageMaker HyperPod is pre-configured with SageMaker distributed training libraries that enable customers to automatically split training workloads across thousands of accelerators. So workloads can be processed in parallel for improved model performance. SageMaker HyperPod also ensures that you can continue large language model training uninterrupted by periodically saving checkpoints. When a hardware failure occurs during training, SageMaker HyperPod automatically detects the failure, repairs, or replaces a faulty instance and resumes the training from the last saved checkpoint, which removes the need for you to manually manage this process and help them or help you train for weeks or months in a distributed setting without disruption. SageMaker HyperPod is already generally available and there are a lot of regions where it is already accessible. Let me show you how you can create Amazon SageMaker HyperPod cluster in Sydney region or AP Southeast 2. Go to your AWS account, log in there and go to AWS SageMaker. Once you're in the AWS SageMaker, on the left hand side, scroll down and you will see this HyperPod cluster and cluster management. Click on cluster management and you will be presented with this SageMaker HyperPod cluster screen. Click on Create a cluster, just name it anything. I'll just say my, say my cluster. Always a good idea to give it tag. This is where you define all the instances. So just click on create instance group. And now just give it any name, select your instance type here. Maybe I'll call it my instance group. Um, instance type let's maybe go with any EP5 quantity how many you need i will say i need maybe 5000 just give it a bucket where your life cycle scripts are and then you need to have aws sage meter um, service role which you can so if you are a first time using it just click on this one and it is going to give you the uh, AWS Invoker Instance Role Policy which you need to create a role with and then attack it here. Once that's done, simply click on Save and that's pretty much it. So I'm not going to create it because if I do this 5000 and stuff, I think I will be paying the money for the rest of my life so, because it will be very expensive. So I'm not going to do it. I'll just click on Cancel. And then, because this is the last step, then um, if you want to do advanced configuration around some of the parameters, you can do it. Otherwise, you can simply review and create. And your cluster, HyperPod cluster is ready. And then you can simply go in and use that cluster for your model training. Now, as I said earlier, 
the beautiful thing about the same with the hyperpod is that it saves your model training with checkpoints. So if any instant breaks or something, hyperpod is to, cluster is going to repair it automatically. You don't have to worry about that. So this is a good thing, I believe, but still uh, I would wait for companies to report back on how actually it performed in the wild. So that is where the real test is. So, but again, if you are trying to do it locally for your own testing, beware, it could get very expensive very rapidly. So that's it guys. This is a quick introduction to AWS or Amazon SageMaker Hyperpod. If you have any questions or thoughts, please share them in the comments. And if you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you very much.